guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part 5 of our Clan Angrand campaign. Which is battle. Battle hard, of course. Um, so, in our last uh, part 4, should I say, we took Karakate Pigs. Yay, hey, look at this. Freaking took it. It was a bit of a roundabout way and didn't go as planned. But we took it. Revenge incarnate! It's lost like 2,000 dwarves, I think, in the process. It's more like 1,000, but still, a lot of dwarves in the process. True king! But, you know, that's what's all these ancestral grudges that hundreds of years try and retake it. That's a few extra thousand lives, Matt, right? So, yeah, so we're here. We've got taken it. It's pretty, pretty um, broken up, but. The immediate threat from the green skin isn't a, isn't a problem. So I think what I can do now, I can start taking these and maybe even take out this dwarf or try and get him to confederate with me. That'd be nice. They have quite a lot though. But we'll see. Even try and take Black Crag from uh, these guys who just stop the dwarves taking over. I doubt it, they can just march around. I think I've actually told them to attack. Greetings, yeah. honorable ally. Tend to attack. Stop the take. You know, I don't want to be an asshole, basically. Alright, Karakazul, where are these guys? So why do these guys not like me again? Just aversion. Just generally don't like me. That's fair enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and end that. Let's get the next turn underway. <laughs> uh, what's going on next? What should we do next, guys and girls? Uh, it looks like the green skins are uh, pissing off somewhere else. That's alright. Step four! These guys still want the defensive lines. <coughs> so I think that's cool. Who was that who follow the game? What do you want? Reduction. I could just do that, get the reduction in um, vampires for now as well. I'm not sure what to do over here because this is. Are these, oh, these are the, I thought they were vampires, but they're dead. I will not blight my soul. They're like another version of Bretonia. Onward. Cool, so let's get another unit of these. Let's get them built. So Ready. We've also got a. Uh, Level up, which is good. Same old, same old. Get you going, but first, first, me first. True king of eight peaks! I need to get eight peaks up and running. So, we're finally going to get the rangers. That's cool. Get, get them built up. Wounds there! I can't actually build anything yet, but, you know. What? This so it builds in one turn. Yeah, I'll get the range next, at least I can start building some armies then. Of course, so the green skins are. Uh, they look like they're actually getting beaten back. I'm not sure. I just think they're at war with a lot of people. Hi! Let's hear what you have to say. I'm just looking to see if I can actually confederate with anybody. Fellow Dowie! Kill. Let us like begin. So, dwarf warriors. Such one on them. Get a couple more of them. I think we can end it there. My anger burns bright. So, I've actually got a mod on at the moment, 
which improves the garrisons. As you can see here, like Karak, um, Asgaraz, even though it's just not a walled city, because it's got all this extra stuff and it, it basically doubles everything that you get. Which I think is fantastic. Um, you can have the mods on for every faction, but I haven't done that because it would just make the game way, way too hard. I've tried playing it on normal, normal setting. Um, I've playing as the Beastman, and I had all the extra garrisons on for every faction, and yeah, it's pretty hard, even on normal difficulty. So I turned it off for this because it's hard on hard, and I don't want to screw myself over too much. <laughs> Let's move on to the next uh, next turn. A uh, quick apology as well. This seems a bit laggy um, today. I've got some videos processing in the background and stuff, so slowing things down a little bit. But I wanted to record now or tonight because I want to be a bit strapped for time next week and next weekend. So I just want to get as much as I can done this weekend. Speaking of the beastmen, look who just died. Damn. Right, I think so. The shield is done, just made our armor and knee defense better. Uh, knee defense for Ranger. Twenty percent range infantry unit. Is that oh ammunition, my bad. Master of Steel, Diplomatic Relations, all factions. Let's go for the um, extra ammunition. It's always good to be able to shoot for longer. I stand defiant. Bye my hammer, it will be done. Some more dwarf warriors up over here. Just need to bolster this army a little bit, so I do want to start Lord taking of stuff the quickly. Especially taking this. Uh, I think that's mad as well, unit experience per turn, a hundred. It's pretty crazy. Right. You know, it takes a while to level things up, but you can see that like, these guys are all like getting up to the chevron levels. Oh, this is a mod as well. If you look at this, wondering why these aren't um, level level ten, because I've got a mod which um, removes that. And it makes them level up like normal. Um, it was mainly again when I was playing as Beastman. Um, obviously, they haven't got Regiment of Renowned units. So, if you come against an army that's got Regiment of Renowned really early on, you get absolutely destroyed. So, I actually forgot to turn it off, but I can't turn it off now because it won't let me load my campaign up. But it's okay, it um, means the Regiment of Renowned have to be used as actual normal units. They're still better in themselves, like one on one against a, like a dragon fire pass versus a normal dwarf warrior. The dragon fire pass will win. So, yeah, pretty good. All these extra mods are definitely. If you're interested in the mods that I'm using, I can always put a list up, or you can message me um, through through YouTube. I'm looking at setting up an email account as well. Um, but yeah, so if anything you want to send me, uh, let me know. So Wissing Land has just been uh, destroyed. Um, also, if you're also interested as well in the, um, the elves, when the elves come out soon, I'm pretty sure this is Lothanral. They're just in this area here. So I reckon they're going to start around this area. Which could be cool. Right, so these armies are fine at the Revenge incarnate! Some more level ups. Okay, so I'm just going to make this guy like a full on killing machine. There we go, and then the runesmith as well. So he's got all these runes now that is pretty useful. So damping you can take away the enemy runes of magic. Good, it's good. But on the campaign against AI, is it really worth it to be honest? Oh, I've, I've 
upgrading the wrong buddy one and I. This is the runic protection, not rune awarding. You have to deploy him for that. Oops. <laughs> My bad. I suppose it's good though because you can get double. You get six on there and plus three there. So you get nine in total if you actually deploy the rune. Uh, so we've got two more units to build up, so I'm gonna go just get some more um tall forest. Very well. I will do as you ask. No, I'm not. So I'm not ranging. No, I'm going to keep the dwarf units and then I might get rid of my quarrelers. Because the range units are actually. Um, actually getting, they're actually better now because of all the update upgrades I've done. So yeah, I'll get rid of these quarrelers eventually. Right, so, what my plan is for this is to um, just sort of roll down. Start moving down into the greenskin territory and start taking them out basically. Two more long axes for the anti large. I think this guy here, I'm going to make this more of an elite infantry type based army. And hopefully, we'll be able to take out. I'm not really sure, but maybe when the chaos finally arrive, I might be able to bolster him up with that. We'll have to have a look. So, can give him anything here, anything. Can you use any weapons laying about? No. no I'm not really sure. What does Crown of Command do? It just makes them unbreakable. Um, that's pretty good to be honest. I might give it to this guy. Time for a reckoning. Let's give the Crown of Command to him. There we go, so we can't take anything there. That's cool. Okay, there we go, next turn. So this one's got this, um, it's only going to be a little bit shorter, probably going to be about half an hour, 35 minutes or something. Um, so I see I'm a bit strapped for time for a little this one for pretty much tonight and the next next week, week, 10 days or so. You know, build up to Christmas with the kids and stuff, get to school. So you know how it is if you've got kids and stuff. Don't always have time to do what you want. But that's cool. So come on, guys. The only thing I hate about the um, yes. Federation with Empire and Avalanche. Sure, so it's been destroyed. Yeah, when you start a new campaign, the amount of factions is just ridiculous. It takes so long to um, just to do anything. Founder, movement range, time and motion, uh, damage control, siege holdout time plus one, ammunition is modified, additional minus five percent. Uh, that's cool, we've got requisition. There we go, ammunition, Fire missile, and artillery. Beautiful. and get two more rangers, get, get rid of those quarrelers. For the wisdom so now of the layer. So we've got four dwarf warriors and two with long axes. Uh, let's just get another As dwarf the warrior. King commands. And let's get two minor, okay. We'll get two, get one more next turn. And we can actually start focusing on this arm right here. Summon me if you dare. So this guy's just a lord. Do the same art. Going to get the axe lord up. Uh, maybe not. That's only for dwarf workers, I guess, isn't it? Let's go and that. We want to turn number forty. We're further now than we was in the original campaign that we started. <coughs> right, so once I get these ranger units, I'm going to um, move out and start taking on these greenskins. 
to like a two pronged assault. Step four, true friend. to arms, carrot can, and has gone to war with Tilia. It's a good work, but if I go to war with Tilia, does that mean Stalia? I can't even save it, can I? Um, so we're a carrot can. How they even what? How they even managed to get through? So I don't really want to enter into another war just as the greenskins are coming into my sights. And again, I could I could really I could. There's nothing really stopping me. The only thing that's stopping me is if Estalia joining as well. So if Estalia joining, I don't know. The rest of everyone else might be joining. You know what, let's do it. Let's enter the war on side allies, it'll be help improve relations. Alright, so it looks like yeah, it's just Tilia that, that has a the axe first for war. So what I can do by the grudge bearer's will. Yeah, now we're from another hole to ride. This is a great day. Seeing as I'm just joined the war, I may as well just uh, make an ally. Fellow Dowie, so my throne stands still. ready. Do not disappoint me. My throne stands ready. Make your proposal. That's cool, I'm happy with that. So what I'm the do, that army's built up. So that's cool. Oh, the rest of these got the sky hammer, got the skull guard, long grip iron brakes and rangers and the peak guard. Right. Ready! I'm happy with that. So how much do rangers cost? True king of eight thieves! 43, so yeah, I could get one of them. Revenge incarnate! Okay, so it looks like we're gonna be fighting some humans soon. Fantastic. <laughs> so there's no one else wants to join in the fight. <coughs> so I'm quite secure really because the border princes are my I think they're defensive allies, or maybe I'm not sure one of them. But it's allies in general. So for the green skins to actually get to me, it's pretty hard. What brings you before the air? So they're defensive allies. But again, I'm not going to... There's Tilia, what are they doing? So we could look at doing stuff like this, because this is all getting into the more veteran side now. Takes 17 turns to just to get an extra two. <laughs> this looks like all stuff to lower down. Vampire reduction. I say I've never really played as dwarves before, so I'm gonna have to read this stuff and sort of see what's out there. So reload with time increases ranges, that's interesting. Ah, interesting stuff. I'm gonna do it because the quarrelers and stuff and the green and the thunderers goes up. <coughs> I suppose there's other stuff you can get from the range units makes them better, so that's cool. I'm happy to take a ten percent hit. Stack here so we can start moving. Grudges will be settled. Time for a reckoning. Moving our armies up. 
take out these pesky humans. I think we can just So Corlys just have a lot more armor than they didn't make things from True King! It shall be done! Good stuff. So they managed to they, they built up a stack here, if you can see that. And Grimgory back in charge. Look at the dwarves, they're steamrolling. The slayer in me seeks death. I don't pretend to attack Barrett Park, looks like they're going for stone mine. That's fine. So what I might have to do if I don't if the dwarves do take all the green skin stuff, I'll just have to um take out this dwarven area here. I've I've got no qualms of killing my own kind. Okay, and our little Army of Dragon Company. What are you doing? Let's have a look. Should we get some halberds? I'm actually quite interested to see what dwarves and halberds look like. I might get two of them. So the money I just dropped below a thousand. I'll just keep that at about around the 500 mark. So we can just keep building some decent stuff. <coughs> so I think Chaos arrive at turn 50, don't they? So they're going to be here soon. Which isn't great. I was going to say we're quite far away. I played on my... Um, my empire. They did arrive pretty quickly once they blew through the northern tribes. Defeat the following army. Okay. Reach rank 10 with one master engineer. Like two it. armies here. I'll ignore that. They don't look too special. I refuse. Look at this. I got two the armies of the way. What do you want? So I'm just gonna, um, <laughs> I thought we'd find myself here. They're a military ally as well, so they will help attack if I have to. If I attack, shall I say? Another. So we got long beards now. Everything long beards. Long beards are great weapons. Come on. Yeah, it's gonna drop. My money's gonna drop in a minute. So that raiding's hit me down a little bit. Battle! That's cool. So, time. Oh, I think I'm gonna no agony. Valerius Sorrow. Ready! What should I raid? Do you remember I should raid? I know it's sort of raiding my own place, but. Let's have a look. Grudge Bearer! Would be proud. I'm going to ambush stance. Die my hammer, it will be done. I'm about to ambush him. I know doors aren't really the best at ambushing, but you never know. Something interesting could happen. So, can these guys actually move up? For the wisdom of the way. They can with long move, but that's be silly. No. So out of these ones, I want to take Zahra Kill. That's who I need to take. Quite happy for them to take. Galano. Just wait and see what happens. 
I'm not sure who gets the first turn, then more Tilia. That's good, so they've moved right next to me. So if Tilia decides to attack, which would be awesome if they did. I should slay you. They've asked for peace, of course they have. No. They're running away. They've seen what's coming. They know they're gonna get their asses handed to them. Okay. Oh, there for the wisdom of the layer. So we go if I move up then. Got that! Now oh, they might be able to reach him. Uh, probably can actually reach him and attack. No, no, they can't. It's cool. No worries, we'll just keep pushing them back. They'll probably just run back to their cities. Uh, speed artillery, speed missiles. Oh, oh, look at that extra powder. Instantly affects a target. Target around self and missile attack possible. Oh, he doesn't have an explosive. They can do like explosive rounds. How awesome is that? Oh, where's he gone? No, he ran back. He retreated back to here. You may speak before my shield bearers. I know they have to see the arse's hand to him, but they're just refusing well, to it. Well, good, How may the High King serve thee? Refusing to be Make your proposal. My Now we from another holder. My throng stands ready. Do not disappoint me. It looks like the Ziffbar is having a tough time against the vampires as well. So, is it the rank two? Who's ranked one then? So I'm rank three. Oh, not even on the on the thing yet. Empire. I'm to I me. will hear what you have to say. Uh, okay. Now will you trade with me? What about if I give you some money? Money, we flex now. Our muscles here, four hundred. You know what? Screw you all. Don't want your stuff anyway. Stupid humid looking down on us. Right, cool. Caracade Peaks is way secure now. Okay, anyway, so we had to break through that. Let us begin. Probably the famous last words, but you know. So armor is charged against against large. So yeah, I probably could, I could just get long beards too much. I just want to see what they look like. So, it looks like the long beards are just uh, compared to Dragon Company. version oh no oh, look at the wrong thing so they just have the charge of defense against large that's uh, their main thing so here we got corridors great weapons corridors or drake beard drake beard axe throwers so i know the axe throwers are the new units or some of the new special range weapons <coughs> Skirmishes, aren't they? So, I think what we'll do is we'll get stick with the corridors of great weapons. We'll just go for corridors, they're cheaper, I guess, aren't they? The throng agrees. Okay, two of them, we should be able to afford that. I 
stand defiant. Okay, so I'm gonna attack the layer of Sora. It shall be done. Kill him. I think this, this battle is probably gonna be the What the hell has got a wall? What? Is it in level four? For the damage crowd! Level four. Jesus. Okay. But our four bodies. Bring him. Sorry, attack. I'm going to end it there then. It wasn't an attack that, but we'll end it there. No, no, crazy that they've got like There's three stacks over here. I'm pretty sure they had one over here as well. So. Okay, well, I'm happy we're leaving it there. Um, Sigma forbids this. And then I'm hoping these guys move down until you. I will just not keep obey. Away, basically. So I'll got ignore them. Two stacks, pretty sure they're two stacks. I refuse. That's cool. Okay, so I hope you like that, guys. I'll just save that. Fan Angry Santis. Not so angry Santis anymore, though, because took their stuff back. Alright, cool. So, again, thanks for watching. If you managed to get all this way, uh, all the way through. And if you didn't, then, well, you don't know if you wouldn't hear me, would you? What the hell am I saying? Silly Bob Comps. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, if you did get this far, uh, let me know in the comments what you liked about the um, episode. And where you'd like me to go now, if I should carry on attacking the green skins or sort of push up against the humans, I take out Bretonia, sort of secure that little area. Or even betray these Border Prince guys and maybe take this whole sort of area in front of the Greenskins to get like a beachhead. Plenty of options I guess. But yeah, I hope, um, hope you're enjoying it. Um, if you want to see more, always subscribe. i greatly appreciate that. Or just like and let your friends and friends know. It helps out the channel. This is Bob Combs, signing out.